Okay, some help doing conversions. Sometimes when you're working with degrees, um, the degrees are in decimal degrees, 56.32 degrees. Sometimes they're in minutes and seconds, 74 degrees, 15 minutes, 36 seconds. Sometimes you need to have the minutes and seconds for a more exact measure. Sometimes you want a decimal degree. So I'm going to show you how to convert both ways. So uh, pay attention here. So um, the first thing, if I want this to be with minutes and seconds, I rewrite the problem, 56 degrees, so many minutes, so many seconds. And here's how to figure it out. Hopefully you know where the 56 came from. Then I do 0.32, pick up the trusty calculator, and do times 60. So let's do that. Turn her on and do 0.32 times 60. And you'll notice that I get 19.2. So I take the 19 and I put it here. And now on my calculator, I'm going to do subtract 19. And I get 0.2. Now I'm going to do 0.2 times 60. So times that by 60. And what do I get? I get 12 seconds. So 56.32 degrees is the same thing as 56 degrees, 19 minutes, and 12 seconds. So um, I take the 0.32, times it by 60, and I got 19.2. There's where I take the 19, and then I do subtract 19 on my calculator, and then times by 60 again, and that's how I get um, the 12. All right, so how do we do this backwards? How do I go from, from this so that I can have an answer of 74 point something? All right, here I was multiplying by 60. Guess what do you think I do here? Divide by 60, right. So the first step is do 36 divided by 60 on your calculator. So let's clear this out. 36 divided by 60, and I get 0.6. 0.6 plus 15, so plus 15, and then what do you think I do? Right, divided by 60 again, so divide by 60 again, so 15.6 divided by 60 is 0.26, so 74.26 is the decimal in terms of degrees. Now, we could try to go backwards, right? How do I go backwards from this? 74 degrees, I want so many minutes, so many seconds. What do I do with the 0 0.26? 0 0.26 times 60, I get 15.6. So there's the 15. So 15.6, subtract 15, and multiply by 60 again, right? So 15.6, take away 15, and times Oops, times by 60, and I get 36. All right, there you go. So you can go one way or the other on these. Um, practice these a little bit. You'll have to do them on a test. Good luck.